Hey there, Shuby Doodlers. How are you doing? Well, I was contacted um, by Karina, who's a long-time viewer of mine. And she said, could I show how to draw a tardy grade? Because she was having real trouble with it. And, well, I kind of knew what a tardy grade was, but I had to go and really look it up. And they are, well, they're like about a millimetre long. They're really, really tiny, tiny, tiny little creatures. They live in ponds and water and things. And um, and they're going to inherit the universe one day. I'll tell you why. <laughs> so what we need is a kind of a circle like that. And then this is like a, a sea lion shape, you know, kind of a seal walrus -y kind of shape like that. And then we're going to want one, two, three legs. So it's one, two, three, four legs. So in, in, in fact, they have eight legs. So it's sort of six on each side. We'll see a little bit there. And they are very strange creatures. So we're going to want another circle. There needs to be more of an ellipse, kind of north-south ellipse, as it were, kind of like that. Now I'm going to start inking this in. So I've been doing a bit of research about tardigrades. And if you look in the description box below, you will see, see there's a link to sciencephoto.com, which has got some amazing photos of them. So right, what I'm doing here, this is the mouthpiece. So I'm drawing like little D shapes, which are attached to kind of the circumference <laughs> outside part of the mouth. And then again, we want this, this is the uh, inside mouth. And you can maybe leave a tiny little bit of white at the top because they do have teeth there. They're so tiny, they're not going to eat you. Don't worry, because they're, uh, they just live on uh, algae and green stuff like that. But the interesting thing about them is they sent them into space on the outside of a spacecraft and they survived and they came back to earth and they still live and they're incredibly hardy they will put up with all sorts of things and still survive and so when we as humans and everything are long gone tardigrades will probably still be floating around the universe <laughs> quite happily munching their way through anything they can find and uh, so right this is what we need we need this kind of shape here like that. And then I'm going to put another kind of curve up there. So it's quite difficult because all the, the photos you see, a lot of the photos you see are scanning um, electron photographs, um, which kind of give a very sort of strange view. In fact, the classic image that everybody kind of loves of the tardigrade is a scanning photo micrograph, um, which gives an odd sort of idea of it makes it look really dry whereas in fact they're kind of water creatures and they they almost look like plants themselves in a way they're kind of quite transparent uh, in on in a light microscope in a normal kind of microscope so look we'll just make these a little bit wobbly on the bottom there and then we want this one here a little bit wobbly there too and that will come down a little bit wobbly there so we kind of got sort of curves coming around here so we can have one there and then we're going to want another one there and another one coming down there and then this will come down there and you can make the lines a little bit wobbly if you want and we're going to want one there and probably one there we might see something there and maybe there and then they have claws and <laughs> these really long claws and again if you go and look at the, the micrographs you'll see They've got pictures of their claws, and they must be so tiny, and yet they're exquisitely detailed. Uh, really sharp, beautifully uh, crafted, designed little claws just for clinging on to the green stuff. And now I'm just going to kind of add some extra little kind of curvy lines around there. Now, when you are sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines. Now, to make this a bit more subtle, I'm going to shade this in uh, with some grey rather than um, just you know, cross hatching like I generally do. That's going a bit too much, I think. Oh, <laughs> slightly too dark. I didn't mean to have it quite that dark. And then we can have that kind of dark in there. And then this wants to be quite dark around there. Certainly dark underneath those ones at the back. And then we can have a little bit of kind of shadow in there coming down there 
those ones underneath want to be quite dark and I'm just going to do those bits like coming around there and then I'm going to give some kind of <laughs> squirrely kind of water movement here to uh, give a feeling of it kind of swimming through the water like that and there you go Karina how to draw a tidy grade real easy well thanks for watching please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the draw stuff real easy channel you can support my videos by following me on my patreon page put your drawing idea requests in the comments box below and remember to keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye